in this video we'll talk about traction force and body force stiffness tensor and compliance tensor that we'll deal with mounty strain and stress mounty means that it's multi-dimensional what I mean alright and therefore in order to start I'll just start off with the definition of traction force and body force and just take note that we are in the elastic region alright we're still talking about the elastic region which is inside the stress strain curve alright which is where am I this one alright which is this one okay this elastic region this linear elastic region okay the definitions of traction and body force is I, I, I really it's, it's very vague for me but I'll just try my best so therefore this explanation may not be the correct one but to my best now from, of my knowledge traction force is any forces acting on the surface so we have a surface over here is just acting on a surface so if I were to act onto this surface use so my force was act against this surface right most likely this 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 box will actually move right it actually move okay move to wherever it wants and this is somewhat the motion of the of the body itself right so the traction force will apply a certain motion to this body alright so this is somewhat traction force is by far the definition is just forces distributed applied to the surface of a body so it's only on the surface so I'll always call it a surface traction but what about body this is where things start to get a little weird alright for example I have this block over here still alright and then I have this floor over here and then I drop this ball I mean this box sorry I dropped it down what type of forces is this when I release it within this system what move this thing is actually a gravity something that is internally alright within this the material properties of itself alright or you can call and then why so therefore this this is somewhat contributed or attributed by the body forces something that deals with the internal body of the solid and add throughout the volume of the body and we can call this and, and one of it is the action of gravity with, is, is in which the example that's just shown and the magnetic attraction so this is the just this is just the definitions all right now we talk about stiffness tensor and compliance tensor okay what exactly are all of this in order to do that we are still we are gonna go back to the constitutive equation stress is equals to young modulus times um, the strain all right we may have many um, dimension as we say multi-dimension all right and therefore I can say that it's ij okay in this case this is a three times three dimension all right and this is also we can also call this a constitutive equation all right because it, it it still describes what constitute inside the material itself that's all all right so how do we build upon this to to get a meaning of this all right and we will come back to this all right stress is equals to this one sorry should be this like that okay should be like that and if i want to represent in terms of strain then I will have strain is equals to 1 over E times the stress alright so the stress itself can be represented by the matrix which we have discussed earlier in the previous video and we say that there are symmetry alright these this values are all the same throughout alright and now strain strain is in terms of 1 over E alright which is over here while the stress itself for each individual point, all right, each individual point, for example, stress one one, strain one one, all right, each at this point, the stress is somewhat in this form, all right. You can just, you don't need to remember. Just let you know, I will not derive this, but this is something of that intuition or something of the meaning of how it's being derived. In terms of that, I really don't know what. And this is the. Um, and this V is the poison ratio alright it's the um, hold on it's just the fraction between the compression and it's stretched alright it's tensile 
it's, it's tension and it's compression that's all right this green color as you can see is its um original shape and then this this red one is it's um somewhat the um, tensile right it's somewhat the ratio between um the um in ten tension and compression which is somewhat tension divided by compression something like that of the meaning which is what you say that it's the fraction of expansion expansion means you you, you you pull it divided by the fraction of its compression right for small values of this changes so it's like in terms of dx and dy all right okay when we come back here you can see that there is strain 1 1 strain 2 2 and strain 3 3 so in other words it's somewhat strain 1 1 strain 2 2 and strain 3 3 if it's in the matrix class so I didn't say that this is equal to this. No, okay? this is not the meaning. Just that if you do put in the matrix, it's somewhat in the diagonal one. Then what about strain 1, 2, strain 1, 3? Alright, I really don't know what. So I'll just skip it and just write it in the notes. Alright. And then um, multi Excel stress, this one is to just represent things in terms of 2D stress state. So for example, this is just like this is if you were to pull this in this direction, it's stress 1, 1. If you pull this, it's a stress 2, 2. If you pull in a shear manner, it's stress 2, 1, that's all. So you shear in this manner. This is what it's trying to say, right? Stress 1, 2, and then there's an arrow over here, right? All right, just now I say, why only this three straight, right? Now I finally found. It's over here, okay? Is this one. This three straight is what we have said earlier. And the rest of strain 1, 2, and strain 2, 3, and this like that, is in terms of shear strain, all right? This G is um, modulus of rigidity. And we find that actually shear, what is it? Modulus of rigidity, we can call it the shear modulus, denoted by G, and is the ratio between the shear stress and the shear strain. Alright, to think about it, stress is equal to this one, right? If I were to write in terms of this one, this strain, I'll have 1 over E times stress is equal to this one. So therefore, this 1 over E is somewhat like 1 over g all right which is some so this young model is somewhat the relationship for um, to describe the strain and stress right this and likewise the shear modulus or the modulus of rigidity is somewhat the re to explain the relationship between stress and strain also and therefore this is why it's, it's at the bottom 2g all right so therefore this this is the description for stress and strain all right, in term, I mean, this is the description for the strain, all right, in terms of 3 times 3 matrix, if you were to put in, in, in like this. Yeah, so this, this diagonal one is this one, all right, while, and it's called the strain, strain stress, I don't, I don't think, okay, it's our main strain, okay, strain, <laughs> what am I talking, okay, and then this one is simply the shear strain, all right. Or, okay, I will call this the normal strain, alright, the strain that is normal to the plane, alright, and while the rest over here is the shear strain, that's all, alright. Equation for the modulus of rigidity is in fact this one, okay, we we'll just take note of it, okay. You may wonder, I have been talking all so much about this, but I didn't tell you what is stiffness and compliance matrix, right, I actually promised you to say, but I didn't say, because I'm trying to set up the understanding first, alright. For a multi axle stress or multi dimensional one, you have a three axle loading. Try axle loading, or in, or in other words, is stresses acting on all the normal. So you're actually acting towards all the sides. So all at once, applied simultaneously. Alright? And therefore, the normal, the normal strains and stuff are all over here. Okay? But now, if you were to combine them, in this case right here okay I should actually start from stress first lah, okay if let's say I were to combine in terms of stress right now okay this is the stress is equals to the young modulus Sigma all right this maybe this is not a young modulus this is some function this is some something uh, this is some matrix and this some matrix uh, is, is what I call the stiffness matrix all right and is that this this stiffness matrix contain young modulus also while lambda is equals to all this stuff so as you can see this lambda is so much stuff inside there 
right but I just want to convey is that this matrix over here is a constant relate stress I mean stress and strain in terms of a multi-state stress and state system or meaning tri exo in this case a lot of loadings all at once simultaneously all right so if that's the case that is occurs you're gonna have a, a huge chunk of matrix all right we call this the ijmn okay because there is um three to the power of four um number of components within this or in other words this is um a six by six matrix okay now if you represent represent sigma ij is equals to j this one all right because the m and m will cancel out each other because of the dummy indices all right so i can rewrite as this one now if i want to represent in terms of strain all right what can i do now I'll just simply bring this thing inverse all right this is matrix right so if i inverse this matrix what i will have is this all right so inverse and this is to represent in terms of sigma all right but if but because this is but because um so many huge chunk of information in this side all right and therefore the it's representative in terms of this matrix is in fact the shear system not shear system i mean strain system <laughs> what am i talking anyway so what i mean is that this thing over here is a stress right so i represent the stress is in terms of all this equation correct so far so good in terms of the stiffness ma stiffness matrix all right stiffness matrix in other words is what i what i want to want to show you right this one so the stiffness matrix is in fact c i j m m six times six matrix all right for um, tri excel but what is compliance matrix then is now that is this is why i want to sh this is why i want to show you is that um okay where am i wait ah uh, okay is that if i were to bring this because if i want to represent this whole thing in terms of strain now then i have this equation right some this is the inverse of um the stiffness matrix sigma ij is equals to strain and i can re-represent re this this whole thing as this one all right and therefore this one is simply the compliance matrix and we call and call it as sijmm all right so this c inverse is actually this one so we can call it as compliance matrix simply this whole chunk over here same same thing six by six all right so as you can see this is just the definition now last question we say that stress is in terms of the, the matrix is symmetry, right? This is what we have said earlier previously. As you can see, there are symmetry, right? There are symmetry along this line. If you, it's like a cheese. It mirror diagonally, right? So there are actually symmetry. You see? Now, what about strain? It is also symmetry at this point all right it's symmetry for this example okay so because i didn't actually i don't know whether is it truly symmetry and therefore this is for you to find out in the future all right but from this case right now this tri excel case then we are talking about symmetry for strain and stress all right this is for strain strain matrix and this is for stress matrix Alright, and therefore, um, yeah, lastly is that the stiffness matrix is, in fact, the inverse of um, the stress matrix. I mean the, the compliance matrix. For just another example, inverse stiffness matrix is equal to the compliance matrix. Same, same meaning. Okay, and for this is the summary of this video, and it will be attached in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.